my life story. It's a mission for me. It's not about me only. It's a story for every stateless person who had to struggle and suffer all of this just because he was born somewhere. When I lived in the Yarmu camp, I always hidden the fact that I am a dancer. Because in a camp for stateless refugees, education was not enough to educate people what is ballet. I know it's a harsh thing to say dance or die. I didn't have another choice. The war brought extremists like ISIS or Al-Qaeda in Syria. I faced them face to face. I had a gun in my head three times. All the darkness and death and everything happening around me, it just didn't destroy what is within me. I went to Amsterdam, invited by the Dutch National Ballet, and there I got my, let's say, rebirth. When I was in the Netherlands, they gave me a permit written nationality stat laws. And I was like, what does that mean? And they said, you don't have a country. But I was born in Syria. I lived all my life in Syria. I am very much connected to Syria, the land and the people. So many people, millions of people are stateless. We don't even have rights. I never thought of voting or something like that because I was never told that I have this kind of right. If you are stateless, you die where you are. I am super lucky that I am a dancer and that's why I got all these opportunities. But other people, they are still there. I gave dance workshops for those kids. I talk to them as well and I connect to them. I teach them what dance taught me, how to be confident that they can value their being and force their power into this world. This story has to be told for every stateless person. And I believe this story has to be given to the people who needs it. I want to be their voice.